Oh, that's so unfair. That's not how he feels at all. Today, we're checking out the new episode for Mushoku Tensei, but first, click the like button, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can check out more of these reactions, or like during the reaction, you can like, comment, subscribe. I'll probably mention it again, that way I can get you guys to do it, because I know you're not going to watch the intro. Anyways, you can find the full link as well as exclusives over on Patreon. You'll also find some other links down in the description, like the link to my second channel, where I do some non-anime reactions, if that interests you, and the link to my Twitch channel, where I literally watch this anime along with a bunch of others live on stream, and you can be like, these people right here in chat hanging out and watching this anime as well as other anime we just finished watching ninja Kamoi. that was so good and we also watched sound euphonium actually good mishio's cooler family go go loser ranger but not this week obviously because it was on hiatus but yeah mushoku tensei stop by on sundays you can watch it with us now let's check out the episode <laughs> Oh, she thinks Norn's being bullied. Or he thinks Norn's being bullied. And they're part of the problem. Bunch of bullies. Oh, interesting. Very, very interesting. What the fuck? Is wait, 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 is this her class? I don't see Norn here. Oh, wait, whoa! Hold on now. Oh, bro. <laughs> he can't say... <laughs> He's saying, like, hey, if you come forward, I just want you to apologize and realize you made a mistake. But his face is saying, if you come forward, I will fucking kill you. That's his face right now. That's not the face of, I will let you apologize to her. I'd heard about you, but Norn seems normal. Wait, wait, wait. I'd heard about you, but Norn seems, wait, wait, is Rudy not normal? Oh, what the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. That's bro. Hey, somebody's speaking from experience right now. What the fuck is this? And she couldn't finish it, so you stripped her naked in the faculty. Out. What the fuck? Um, Rudy, <laughs> you're uh, uh, I don't know. You're projecting a little bit. It's a little weird. She's like, uh, what the fuck? Why would I do that? That's some weird ass fucking shit. I would, uh, bro, do I look like I roll with Drake? Like, I'm not doing that. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay. What Norn has an issue with is people comparing her to her brother. I and me, me too. Yeah, I also have experienced this where I just mentioned you and then she just fucking goes off the rails. Oh, she went from always being compared to Aisha to now always being compared to Rudy. How could he not? Me or fault? <laughs> They did also bully her, though. They only stared at her that one time with Rudy there. Oh, so they haven't done it before. It was a one-time occurrence. They're like, stop looking at the boss. Okay, they did they make that clear to us? Because for me, I saw it and I was like, yo, they don't have a problem popping off on this girl. It seems like they done it before. That is so sick. Imagine, bro, imagine you're like, oh, I'm thirsty. Magic, ah, cup of water. That's kind of crazy. Can he also control the temperature of the water too? Oh. <laughs> Her brain will rot if she doesn't go out. 
Uh, <laughs> kind of explains a little. Hey, yo, this helps us understand Rudy a little bit. That's why he has such brain rot. Okay. She'll end up as stupid as Linia. Oh, wait, hold on. Damn, they bully each other so much. Actually, they don't even bully each other. Persena just uh, uh, bullies Linia. That's it. It's just it's a one-way bullying all the time. Not coming out because she has no reason. Ah. So then how do you get her to come out of her shell? In room. You have to give her like a purpose, right? She has to have a real reason to want to leave the room. That's hard. That's kind of cool. I know he happy to be in everybody's laundry. I just don't really know what the move is. What's the move? What does he do? Go away. I don't want to talk to you, Rudius. Dog, what the fuck was that? It's his voice. He imagined it. Oh, uh, oh. Bro, I was about to say, who the fuck's in there with... Hey, bro, who's in there with your little sister, homie? Okay, that's just him. It's kind of like he's... Okay. That was a little weird for a second. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Okay. That's how he would have reacted if somebody had gone to his door when he was a shut-in. He would have done the same thing. Yo, this is actually pretty good. I like this. Oh. Oh, his brother tried to help him. Oh, yo, he was a good brother. Oh. Yo, good brother, though. Hey, yo, shout out to brother. Oh, he only tried once, though? I mean, he might have been there for a long time, but... Aww. He realizes he made a mistake with his brother, too. She's afraid of him. Aiko, you have to cut this from the video. Chat, I'm sorry. I know you're going to hate the fact that I'm saying this, but why exactly was he beating the shit out of his dad again? Oh my God, bro. Bro, and she doesn't even realize that that Rudy just went through the worst thing you can go through. He went through the worst possible thing that he could go through. No man would ever, will ever tell you they've been through something worse than that thing. He couldn't get it up, bro. He was dysfunctional. That's way worse. Like, she doesn't even understand. She doesn't have any clue. Remember, she's a little child. That's what I'm saying. She doesn't even know. I'm, I'm, I, that's what, literally what I'm saying. She's a kid. She doesn't even understand. You don't understand. It's different, bro. The man lost his, his wife. Oh, where is she? She's still alive somewhere. His dick wasn't alive anymore. It was dead. I'm just saying, that's way worse. What's, what means more to a gray rat man than his, you know, his gray rat? I'm just kidding, by the way. This is all just a joke, okay? It's just a joke. We're moving on. I'm sorry. For all of you people that take Mushoku Tensei too seriously, it's a fucking joke. Relax, all right? Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh, wait. Did he make the wrong move letting her live in the dorms then? Because then it seemed like... He will. He allowed her to. He kicked her out. That's so 
that's not fair, bro. That's not fair, bro. There was he got stuck in a, uh, there was no because if he says no, you can't go, then she says, "Oh, he'll never give me what I want. He hates me." Right? But then he says, "Yes, you can go." Oh, he let me go because he hates me. There's no way for him to win. It was rigged. That was a rigged game. Oh, that's so unfair. That's not how he feels at all. Oh, that's not fair. The Rudius, the strongest in the school. Hey, that's kind of fire, bro. That's how Rudius is known, the strongest in the school? Oh, fuck. Damn. Because then everyone, everyone looks at this and they say, oh, if you're his sister, then he cares about you a lot. He does all this stuff for you. But she hasn't really spent any time with him. So the only brother she has in this very moment kind of kicks her out in her eyes. So then all the students are like, oh, your brother loves you. He wants to teach you things. No, my brother actually kicked me out. He doesn't want to teach me anything. Ooh, and then that on top, magical genius. And they're just praising her brother. I wish I had a brother. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck. Yep. And then everything's always brother, brother, brother. Just being compared to him constantly. Can't just let her be herself. And, and on top of it all, she doesn't even know anything about her brother. So then when everyone's like, hey, what, what about your brother, your brother, your brother, your brother? Don't know anything. Well, I don't want to know. So now she doesn't even want to know about her brother. Oh, and she sees that her brother's perverted as fuck because he's rolling with those people. Because you don't know him. You need it. That's all really needs to happen. They need to get to know each other. She having a panic attack? What is that? Thank you. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's go. <laughs> Tell her good stories of Rudy. Tell her all the good stories of Rudy. Then try to get it. Learn. Mmm. Neither of you know each other. My stupid camera keeps on going out of focus. Reminds her of her, her dad. He reminds her of her dad. Yo, is she gonna come back and live at the house too? Aww. Did they make amends? <gasps> I think they made amends. 
Dan, she said hi to Sylvie too. Holy shit, wait, so she actually kind of just fixed it herself. Or she had some moment of clarity or something. I don't know, man. That's kind of crazy. She was acting very immature, but she's... Oh. Dude, Andis gave him a chance to see what his brother went through. He would have never been... He would have only been able to to like feel how he felt to see a different perspective on his own situation that he went through. He got to see how other people saw him when he was going through shit. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I guess it, it gave him a chance to, to atone. <laughs> You can watch the OP starting after next episode, by the way. Really? That's it? Just one more episode? So I watch episode the next episode without the OP and then... Oh! 30.3! Oh my god! I, yeah, listen. I, I, I already saw it. Listen, here's the thing. Chad was like, hey. Hey. Hey, by the way, Joe. You need to see what the next episode's title is. You gotta see it. Joe, make sure you don't skip. You Make sure you see what the title is. Like, bro, I already always see what the title is because I love hearing this shit every time. So I, I was gonna listen to it no matter what. I always love hearing that. Every single episode, I always listen to that shit. So I would have found out what the title was no matter what. But everyone had to say, hey, Joe, make sure you don't skip the title for the next episode. Hey, Joe, the next episode's title's pretty crazy. Hey, Joe, make sure that you don't skip it. Hey, Joe. And so I already knew it was gonna be turning point three. Okay, so yes, I'm not actually like mass massively surprised about it. I was massively surprised about it maybe like an hour ago before we ever watched the episode. That is sick. I can't wait to see what it is. I don't know what it is. I have not seen the OP, but it sounds like from what chat's telling me, I can watch the OP after we watch next episode. Turning point three is very long. Oh, so no, I have to skip it all the way until the end of the, the series. Okay, so somebody fucking lied in chat. Cool. All right, well, never mind. Um, all right, so I won't do that. Got it. We are not watching the OP until we get to the end of the season. So we got turning point three coming next episode. What is turning point three? Here we go. Okay, turning point one, displacement event. Turning point two is, is Orsted. Turning point three is... Here's the issue. It's hard for me to like say what the turning point three is because when I think about turning point three, you, it's gotta be a Rudy thing. Rudy is in school. So there's not really like a thing that Rudy can do except something at school. So you like, it feels like there's not really like a crazy, like, it's hard for me to describe what I'm trying to say, but like we had it so that way a big ass spell happened and then the world was altered, right? Then low key, low key Rudy's world was altered with the second turning point, right? It feels like the third turning point can't be as crazy as turning point one or two because again he's at the school unless somehow he's also displaced again that's the only way that i could see it it just doesn't feel like it could be as as crazy so we'll see we'll see next week you know um how crazy it'll be i just feel like it can't be that crazy what do you guys think about this one let me know down in the comments like comment subscribe till next time make sure you all keep it fresh peace